Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw the Moon Lord from Terraria. Let's get started in the center of our page. We're going to draw a little curve from left to right, coming down in the middle, and then back up on the right side. From here I'm going to take these two ends and just curve around and in, leaving a gap in the center. So on the left side we'll curve out, and then just pull that in. We'll do the same thing on the right. On the left side here, I just want to step out a little bit so there's a little overlap and just draw a curve coming down and then out. And do the same thing on the right, so stepping over so there's a little overlap, curving down and then out. On either side, we're going to step down, leaving a little bit of space, and we're going to curve down towards the muzzle. So on the left side, we're going to step down, we'll curve down and in. Now we're going to curve in the opposite direction, curving down. Now we're going to round out the bottom going over towards the right side. We'll pull that back up on the right. Now we're going to do the same thing that we did on the left. Curving up and out, and then just pull that up slightly, leaving a gap on either side. In this area at the bottom here, we're going to draw that opening for the muzzle. So starting up here, we're going to draw a curve from left to right, coming down, and then back up. We're going to round out the tops, and then just come down towards the bottom, almost like a half oval. We're going to come back up on the right side. So we're going to round up the top, come down, and just blend that in. Inside the space, we're going to draw in these little things that look like veins. So we're going to start on the left side. We're going to curve across and then pull that up. We're going to come down again, draw it again, going across again. Now we're going to tuck one in behind here. So in the middle, curve down and out towards the right. We're going to step over, draw another curve going across. And we'll do one going in the opposite direction, just tucking in underneath. Along the sides of the ridge, there's these three little holes. So we're going to start on the left side, right up here, and draw a circle. We're going to move over towards the right side and line it up and draw another circle. We're going to fill those in black. Now we're going to do two more on either side. So stepping down on the left side, we'll draw another circle. Move over towards the right. And then we'll fill those in black. Let's draw one more at the bottom here, one on the left, one on the right, and then again filling those in black. Let's move up to the top and draw in the sideways eye, so it's basically pointing up this way. So in the center we're going to step up to right here in the middle, draw a point. From here I want to curve up and out and then round it up to the top. So curving out towards the left, rounding up the sides, and pulling it up towards the top. We're going to take that curve and just flip it over on the right side. So we'll start on the top here, curving out towards the right, pulling it in, and then just tapering it down towards the bottom. In here we're going to draw in a circle for the iris. Starting at the top, come around towards the bottom, and back up towards the top, and then in the center we'll draw a little black dot for the pupil. We're going to go to the outside and draw a thick little ridge around the eye. Starting on the left side, we're going to step over curving around that curve of the eye, and then coming down towards the bottom. Now at the bottom, I just want to round out this curve around that point of the eye. Curving around. Now I'm going to work my way back up on the right side. On these top two corners of the ridge, we're just going to curve around the eye and then back up. So on the left side, we're going to curve around the eye, going over towards the left, and then just pulling that straight up. Do the same thing on the right. Going around the eye, and then pulling that up. Now that we have the center ridge in place, let's draw in the large eyes on the side. So just along the side of this ridge, we're going to move over and draw a point. We're going to draw the curve for the top of the brow, so going up and then out. So this point here on the outside is higher than the inside. We're going to take that point and curve down and then scoop that back up on the inside. Come down lower, and then we'll pull that back up. Let's do the exact same thing on the right side. So we're going to leave that gap just lining up the inside of the eye, drawing a point. From this point, we're going to curve up, and then out towards the outside. We're going to go back into the inside and draw that curve going to the outside of the eye. Coming down, and then curving back up. Now we want to draw a thick little ridge along the bottom edge of the eye. So from the corner on the left here, we're going to curve around the bottom of the eye, and just tapering it, and pulling it in towards the ridge. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to start on the inside this time, curving around the bottom of the eye, and just tapering up to the outside of the eye there. 
Let's move back down to the bottom and draw on the first set of tentacles. So in the middle here, we're going to curve down and out towards the left. Now we're going to round it out going in the opposite direction. Coming down. Now we're going to curl around the bottom. So curling around and then just pulling that up. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So we're just mirroring what we have on the left side. Curving out, coming down and in, and then just rounding out the bottom. Now at these points it gets really thin and then goes really thick as we get up towards the ridge. So we're going to start along this curve right here. Curve down, just following that same curve and just going a little bit narrower as we come down towards the bottom. We're going to come up in towards that point. Do the same thing on the right side. So we're going to start at the top here. We're going to follow that curve, going out and just getting narrower as we come in towards the bottom, towards the tip. Now we're going to draw another set in behind the front tentacle. So directly below the left eye, we're going to start up here. We're going to curve out, just following that same curve, coming down, and then right here we're going to pull it up. So this one's actually higher than the inside. From this point, we're just going to tuck this in behind the front. So curling and tapering back up and right in behind the front tentacle. We'll do the same thing on the right. So lining up the top, we'll curve around and out. In, and then at the bottom we'll just pull that back up and we're going to work our way back in and just tucking this in behind the front. Now the third set is going to get tucked in behind this little curve here. So from the top of that point we're going to step down, curve out, come down and then right here we're just going to curl it back up. Again we're going to curl this in behind here. Pulling the curve in. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Lining up the top, curving out, coming down, and then we'll just curl that back up. Take this point and just taper it back and tuck that in behind. Now the fourth set actually blends in with the ridge of the eye. So we start at the left side, just above this eye here, just stepping in from the ridge. We're going to curve up and out, just alongside the eye, to right there. Now we're going to round this out and come in. Towards this point here. Now at this point we're going to curve in and then just follow that same curve towards the fourth tentacle. So here we're going to curve in, go back out. Now we're going to follow that same curve, going out, down, and then we'll just pull that back up. From here I just want to curl this in behind again. So tapering it in and then up. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So leaving that little gap on the inside, we'll start with the ridge to the outside of the eye. Now we're going to round this out, coming into right about there. Now we're going to follow this curve like we did on the left side. So curving in, go out, down, and then we'll curl that back up. Now all we want to do is take this point and taper it in behind like that. Now we're going to add the final set just in this little opening up here. So on the side of the eye on the left, Curve down and draw a little wave, going up, down, and then up. From here we're going to work our way back and just tuck this in behind this curve here. So tapering this, curving down, up, it gets really thick at the bottom, we'll just pull that in. Do the same thing on the right side. So starting at the side of the eye, curve down, up, down, and curl at the end. And we'll work our way back in, making sure that we line up the bottom here. So it's going to end off right here. Down, up, down, and then just pull that right in. Let's move back up to the top and complete the top of the head. So just above the left eye, right in this area here, we're going to draw a smaller eye. Starting on the inside, we're going to step in from the ridge, draw a curve going up, then down towards the left. We're going to do the reverse coming down and connecting those two points. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So leaving that same amount of gap right here, curve up and then down. We'll connect those two points with a curve in the opposite direction. Now we want to add a little ridge around the eye. So we're going to start alongside this ridge here, curve up above the eye, and then we'll just pull that down on the left. We're going to do the opposite down on the bottom. So stepping down from that point just underneath the eye, curve down, and we're going to pull that up in towards the ridge. Right alongside here, we're just going to draw a little curve, just for some detail, curving down. Do the same thing on the right side. So right in here, curve 
up over the eye and we'll pull that down. Along the bottom, we're gonna go in the opposite direction, curving the bottom ridge and then pulling that up. Along here, we're just gonna curve down and we're sort of aiming towards that point right there. Above the eyes, we're just gonna add a little bit of a wrinkle. So right in here, it's gonna curve up and in. Do the same thing on the right side. Now let's move up to the top and draw the opening for the brain. So starting at this point here, we're gonna draw a little wave, going up, down, and then back up. Up, down, and then curl that back up. We do the same thing on the right side. So we're gonna line up the top, come down, and we'll pull that up to the same height as we have on the left. From these two points, we're gonna curve the side of the head coming in towards the first set of spikes. So on the left side, we're gonna curve around and just aim down towards this little opening here. Curving around and then in. We'll do the same thing on the right, curving out and then in. We're gonna add one little horn, a little spike on either side. So from this point, I just wanna round up the base and then curve that back up. I'm gonna take that point and curve in behind the side of the head. So tapering it in like that. Let's do the same thing on the right. We're gonna round this out, and then curve that up. Take that point and taper in behind the side of the head. Now let's continue working down the side of the head. From the bottom of the horn, we curve out around the eye, and then down. Do the same thing on the right. So at the base of this horn, we're gonna curve out, and then down. We're gonna overlap another little horn, a little wave coming out this way. So from this point, we're gonna step in, curve into the line and then just pull that up. So it's a little overlap here. We're gonna curve that back on the bottom side. Starting from the top, we'll taper in and then down. So it gets a little bit wider as we come back in. Do the same thing on the right. Stepping down, curving over that line and then pulling that up. We'll work our way backwards. So from the tip, we'll curve back, tapering that line and then coming down. Now we're gonna finish off the side of the head we're gonna continue this curve right underneath this little horn. We're gonna bump it out and then down. We'll do another bump going out and then in behind this tentacle. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So lining this up right here, bump it out and then pull that in. We'll do one final little bump going out and then in behind that tentacle. This finishes off by tucking the brain inside the head. So from the center point, I'm just gonna draw a straight line, a little short straight line coming down. Now we're gonna work our way over towards the left side. Now this is almost like a curve that goes in behind that point, but we're gonna draw a series of little curves, little bumps. And they can be various sizes. We can have some small ones, we'll have a large one, and it just closes the gap in there. We'll do the same thing on the right. So curving up, one bump, we'll do a tiny one here. And all we wanna do is just close off this opening with that little curvy bump across the top. I wanna add some more bump details in here. So from the center, we're gonna curve up and then down towards the left, add another bump. Up in this area, we're just gonna draw a little curve. And then over in this opening, we'll draw another curve. Do the same thing on the right. So we just wanna vary this. So from here up the top, curve around. Again, on the side, we'll bump out. And then one in this little opening here. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's the Moon Lord from Terraria. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send us your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.